Oh, hi, this is Sam Smiling, and today I'm doing the second video and the two videos I was doing about the Jubilee topics. The first one is Community College versus Ivy League, and all the feelings around those two different college experiences, and they're basically more the same than different. And this one is going to be about disabilities because I have cerebral palsy with its speech impediment that you are here right now. I also have asthma. And it's about if disabled people think in the same way. And I would be inclined to say no because, you know, just because you have the same situation doesn't mean you think the same way. I do not think of myself as disabled. And I was going to make a video on this specific topic, but here's a short little thing. I have a friend who uses a wheelchair. I've never met him in person, but he's still my friend. We talk over Facebook quite a lot and this guy his voice is not affected but he is in a wheelchair and he gets called Timmy on the time Timmy being the character from South Park who's in a wheelchair who only can say his own name and he's the lead singer of the metal band and you know, we look at him in his wheelchair and say, hey, Timmy, you know, and that's inappropriate. And he's called that several times, um, a lot of times by just idiot 25-year-old kids or something. And I've never been called that because uh, maybe I don't have a wheelchair. Maybe I would if I had a wheelchair. And that... Is bullshit. Sorry for the word, but it is. Yeah, and I'm also not talking about my true other true disability. <laughs> if I can find it, oh yeah, here it is. I have asthma. I have asthma that's so severe that when I'm at the airport, I have to get wheelchair assistance because if I had to run to a gate, catch a plane I would be just dead not really dead but just unable to breathe halfway there so this is probably one of my most disabling disabilities so not every disability is something you can see I don't believe that America provides nearly enough services and, and support for people with disability. A lot of people with disability they exist on sub in sub poverty. They get like 900 bucks a month. That isn't nearly enough to get groceries and pay bills and maybe go out for a McDonald's once in a while and you know and, and I wish it were up to above the poverty line I don't want it to be like 50 billion dollars but, but it would be nice if we got to live comfortably not scraping by that would that would be great and it would be also great if they were living on that 900 or whatever a month if they didn't have to pay for their medical treatment when they need it because that eats into your monthly budget And 
Open the record, I'm not even talking about myself. I'm talking about other people because you know I'm a social worker and I've seen some pretty dire situation where the person could be helped a lot with a little little bit of money a little more money. Have a great day.